the Sapindaceae, or soapberry family. These occur, wor world, occur worldwide in temperate and tropical, um, is including uh, some laurel forests, which are interesting um, uh, environments where it is uh, basically so wet that uh, nothing ever dries. There's uh, constant high humidity and constant uh, precipitation or um, uh, spray from uh, water, and uh, so it becomes a problem uh, shedding water and uh, plants have a, a certain set of uh, characteristics that they develop to, um, to cope with that environment. Uh, I think um, sort of cloud, cloud forest. These uh, maize plants have a milky sap, and um, that has, uh, contains um, components in it called saponins, which are quite soap-like in nature and have been exploited to make uh, natural soaps. There are mostly trees, some uh, uh, woody, herb, uh, woody vines, lianas, and some herbs. Leaves are generally pinnately or palmately compound, or just plain palmate. Uh, the flowers are small and general, and um, generally unisexual. They're um, in um, either monoecious, so there's two different sexes, but on the same plant, or dioecious when they're on separate plants. Wide range of fruits, nothing particular characteristic. And economically important, um, maples, buckeyes, soap berries. And then uh, quite a range of tropical fruits like lychee and ackee that um, are uh, common in the tropics, but not here uh, much here in uh, the central U.S. Characteristics, uh, uh, opposite leaves in particular, and um, generally compound um, leaves, palmate or uh, pinnate. On the left you can see a buckeye, which would be palmately compound. And on the right is a maple, which is just palmate. And uh, you can see in particular those uh, opposite leaves. Uh, the order Sapindales, with 150 to 140 genera, uh, up to 2,000 species, depending on uh, taxonomists. There's been a lot of um, reorganization of this family recently. It used to be that the uh, maples were in their own, own family, the Aceraceae, and uh, the buckeyes had their own family. And uh, those have both been um, added into this family in recent years. So the Aceraceae no longer uh, exists, technically. We're in the Sapindales over uh, a little bit farther down on the right in the rosid group of the true, true dicots. The uh, notable species, uh, many, many, many different types of maples uh, worldwide. And uh, the same for buckeyes. There's quite a few different species. Uh, some are native to the US and some to Europe. There are um, these fruits that I mentioned uh, that are uh, very popular in the tropics like the lychee and the ackee and the longan and the pulisan and gu guarana and the pitomba. Uh, the picture to the right is a gentleman with a, uh, a harvest of pitomba fruits. And then the soap berries and a golden rain tree is a horticultural, um, the interesting species. The lychee or lychee uh, is um, native to southern China, Taiwan, Southeast Asia, but now much more widely cultivated. It's uh, become quite popular. Uh, it's even in Hawaii and Israel and California and different places uh, that are growing it commercially. It's a small tree. It uh, doesn't get more than maybe 60 feet tall. Um, it's quite attractive, so in areas where it will grow, it's also used uh, horticulturally. Uh, the heart-shaped uh, fruits are considered a, a symbol of love in China. It's been um, very popular in China for uh, many, many, many uh, millennia. And uh, these, t these leaves are typical of the uh, laurel forest, uh, laroid uh, adaptations where the leaves hang down. They have a tip on them to encourage anything, uh, water that runs off to drip off, and then a very waxy surface to uh, further um, uh, accelerate uh, shedding any water that um, uh, happens to fall on them. It is um, uh, dried sometimes, in which case it's called a lychee nut. And uh, it's actually made into a liqueur, which apparently is very sweet. Uh, it starts out with cognac and then adds a uh, sweet uh, fruit to it. I can imagine it's pretty sweet. The, f the husk of the fruit is not eaten. They are peeled and uh, the white inner fruit uh, consumed and the nut uh, discarded. Here's another one, the ackee, which is actually native to Africa. Uh, tropical uh, West Africa, but um, they think it was probably brought to Jamaica on slave boats, and uh, but has become very popular in Jamaica and is a big staple in their foods there. The ackee and saltfish dish is um, a staple in the uh, Jamaican culture. 
so uh, very popular and it has become an export product for them. $400 million worth of it exported in 2005, so uh, quite an important tree and uh, quite attractive too. The sugar maple um, is in this family, Acer Secarum. Uh, it is uh, widely distributed in Canada and um, uh, the eastern U.S., but if you'll note, it doesn't really make it uh, too far into Iowa. It doesn't like uh, anything close to hot and dry and windy, so uh, you can imagine your typical August in, in Iowa would not be uh, too good for it. We do have a, a, a quite similar uh, species, the Acer nigrum, which does grow more widely and is actually quite similar. There is another species that uh, looks quite a bit like sugar maple, but is uh, not related at all. It's a European Norway maple. Uh, the seeds are quite distinct. The Norway maple seeds are quite large, uh, two, three inches wide, and um, uh, seed halves are uh, widely separated, whereas the sugar maple seed is quite small, maybe inch, inch and a quarter, and um, the seeds um, droop down almost parallel to one another. That's important to know because there's a lot of work being done to remove Norway maples um, as they have become quite invasive. So uh, the Norway maples are not um, welcome players on the Iowa scene, but one would hate to take down a sugar maple uh, thinking it was a Norway. Um, the, the maple leaf is quite iconic. It's uh, probably the leaf that's on the uh, Canada flag. And um, uh, as you can see here, an uh, outline is uh, quite similar. Wood is very dense. It's used for things like baseball bats and basketball court flooring, um, a lot of different musical instruments, and uh, some lovely furniture. Maple tends to form um, some special um, structure, special um, uh, structural events happen from time to time, and you get these maples that are called bird's eye maple or curlicue maple that are uh, highly prized in the furniture business. Soapberry, the um, uh, namesake of the family, this one is Sapindus seponaria. Uh, which is used um, to make uh, soap that's actually been used for washing uh, for thousands of years. Uh, people have recognized that uh, this family has this ability. They also have used it in a lot of different folk remedies, none of which are particularly well proven, everything from uh, contraceptives to epilepsy. There is some evidence it might help with migraines, but again, that is still um, sort of the jury is out type situation. And um, the uh, soap uh, making, um, uh, characteristics of this uh, have been exploited now by modern peoples and to where you can uh, even get on Amazon.com and buy yourself some soapberry dish soap or shampoo or uh, whatever else you think you might uh, want to try. Uh, horse chestnut is quite a famous uh, tree in uh, Europe and some are grown in the United States. Uh, Aeschylus hippocastanum is not native here, it's uh, native there. The uh, very distinctive uh, chestnuts um, <coughs> excuse me, um, are used in a game uh, called Conkers that's a little bit like uh, playing marbles and very popular with children. It's a lovely tree. They, even the leaves are, are just attractive on their own. And then, of course, the flowers here are um, quite attractive. The fruit is, um, uh, is mildly, mildly toxic when it's green, but if it's uh, treated white, it can be eaten. And extract of it has uh, been used for years to um, cleanse and dye uh, fabrics like linens, and uh, other um, um, woven I items. Iowa natives, uh, box elder, you might not think is a maple, but it actually is. Uh, you can look at the seeds here and uh, definitely see that it is um, it is a maple. It's also called ash leaf maple and dozens of other names. It's got quite a wide range where it can grow throughout the United States, and that uh, tends to lead to um, a lot of different uh, common names. It's uh, probably easiest to remember at Acer Nagundo. It stays fairly small. It is often multi-trunked and can be used to help uh, stabilize stream banks and uh, create thickets for wildlife. It tends to uh, get a little rampant, though, so it uh, doesn't always uh, attract a large following of admirers, and it has become invasive in other parts of the world where it's been introduced. It is dioecious, meaning that the male um, trees and female trees are actually separate rather than having separate types of flowers on the same tree. And so one thing that can be done to reduce the spread is to uh, cull uh, female trees because no seeds then can be produced. You just have the pollens that, the males that put out pollen and um, that greatly reduces the spread. It uh, is interesting in that it looks uh, remarkably similar to poison ivy, particularly in the seedling stage. If you look though, um, the, um, as are the other members in this family, the leaves are opposite. 
on the uh, box elder, and in poison ivy they are alternate. So if you're out in the woods and wondering if you need to um, avoid or ignore what's growing in the understory, if it's got uh, opposite leaves, you're uh, probably good to go. Another uh, somewhat more uh, loved uh, Iowa native is the Ohio buckeye. has a wide range from Ohio uh, over to Oklahoma. And um, you can see one in the picture there that was taken in Decatur County, Iowa, growing, uh, blooming in the spring. has lovely um, flowers that um, uh, come out um, before even the leaves on the rest of the uh, local trees do. Uh, the nuts are buckeyes, again, looking um, very similar to the European buckeye. And it's hard to see in this picture, but it does have the same palmately compound leaves. The, um, the nuts have been used uh, as a food source on, by humans, in addition to, of course, lots of wildlife. Uh, if people know how to get the tannic acid out of them ahead of time, um, you're probably not even going to get a stomach ache. Toxicity, not as bad as in some of the other families, but um, nevertheless, there's a, a couple things that um, can cause some problems. Um, Acin, uh, out of Aesculus hippocastanum, and probably the other Aesculus uh, species also, um, are saponins um, that uh, have a wide range of physiological effects, um, some of them uh, considerably worse than others. Esculin is used in some microbiology tests to test for uh, certain types of bacterial presence. And hypoglycin A and B um, is found in immature uh, ackee tree fruits and uh, people that get um, uh, anxious and uh, eat the green products, uh, green fruits, uh, can get um, anything from stomach, a stomach ache uh, to actually uh, being fatal, although generally the fatalities have been associated with people that were already pretty weakened for other reasons uh, before they got sick. Nevertheless, uh, probably best to avoid um, green ackee fruits. For more information, uh, there's a lot of more information on the soap nuts in uh, this Sapindus mucorosi website, and a really nice comparison of maple leaves, fruits, and twigs that you can use to identify one from the next at uh, this Washington State University website. That concludes the Sapinaceae.